What am I missing here? What? Hello? Oh! Wow, that's a really nice tactic. Oh wait, no, that doesn't even work. That doesn't even work. I just have Rook here. <laughs> oh my god. No, I feel so bad now. Okay, so we're playing a national last year. I'm gonna play the English opening. Let's see how this goes. It's like we're getting the King's Indian, D6. All right, um, play knight g2. I expect something like bishop g4. Okay, so here I'm just gonna play d3, consolidate the center, the botvinnik setup. Now I expect bishop g4 works, it's fine. But then I just have h3 and then he's gonna just have to move back and it's not viable. Yeah, bishop d7 is probably better. Um, now, I want to still play h3, just prevent any annoying stuff. Or I could even continue with f4. I think I like f4 a little bit better. Preparing f5, okay, he plays that. I like knight d5 here. Um, okay. Pawn takes. Knight d5, okay. I have bishop e3. Because I have 92, queen takes e2, and I'm defending the b2 pawn, so it's not under attack. Um, I definitely don't want to take, giving him a tempo with check. I, anyway, was going to play bishop e3. Oh, crap. I got to be careful. I'm allowing this. We might have to take. Because if we don't, we might be in some serious trouble. Can't even play h3. So this is a downside. I'm not playing h3 earlier. I have to capture here. And play king h1. Not something I wanted to do, but we kind of have to. Yeah, taking with the pawn here would not be a great idea. Because I just have bishop d2, rook c1. Or even b3, bishop b2, putting pressure on this pawn. So it's not something I would do. I'd definitely take with a bishop with tempo as well. Because I'm just a little bit afraid of bishop g4. I just have bishop f3. Not a big deal. King h1. Um, I expect bishop g4 here. Then I play just play queen c2. I'm thinking rook b1 and b3 and bishop b2. That's really what, something I want to do. Let's go for it. Hanging c4 takes, queen takes, b3. With the idea of bishop b2. This is interesting. Because can I just play here? Lock up this position, sort of? And then just play bishop b2? He wants to open the line for his bishop and then play queen here. I see. Okay. He didn't do that. Interesting. Um, I'm going to play here. Obviously, he should take. Now he's pushing. Um, I should probably get my pieces more active here. Now I should think, what do I want to do with my position? I could push here, open up the center, which seems like a good idea. Because I definitely don't want to take here. I like queen d2. Reason is, I can play f4, f5, pawn takes, and I have queen here. If king here, I have pawn takes here. And I could get some counterplay here. I could get some decent counterplay. Because the idea is always f5, f6, something I want to do, and then play queen h6, which would be really nice. That's the idea. I also have e5, but the problem is I'll be dropping the f5 square, which is something I don't really want to do. So now it, it's all about a race here, because he's going to play rook a3 after I take. That's the thing. He's going to play rook to a3, probably. Um, but let's see what we can do. I take with the pawn. Go for f5. Idea is pawn takes queen g4. Sorry, queen g5, king h8, and then I have this as well. I can recapture though first uh, uh, with the idea of f6 right after. Um, and then that way I have an, I have a diagonal for my bishop as well. I could have some really nice mate threats. It's all about a race here. He's going for the queen side, and I'm going for the king side. It's all about a race. Gonna go in. Go for it. Don't have much time here. I'm just gonna play bishop f1 if rook a1. That way there's no way of me like getting checkmated. I also defend this pawn, allowing me to move the queen if I need to, like queen to f4 or something I wanna do. Put pressure on that weak d6 pawn. What am I missing here? What? 
Hello. Oh. Wow, that's a really nice tactic. Oh, wait, no, that doesn't even work. That doesn't even work. I just have Rook here. <laughs> oh my god. No, I feel so bad now.